Hello my loves and welcome back to the studio and welcome to my sketchbook. You've seen this one for a while on my channel. I've been working in here since I'm gonna say October 2018 and none of it is in order as I tend to use my sketchbooks um, at random. So we're starting with some value studies of landscapes. That was the assignment for a Nathan Faust schoolism class that I was taking. And this sketchbook really is just a sketchbook. Lots of scraps, not so much polished, finished work. Moving on to the Ahmed Al Dori 100 Head Challenge. I have a whole video on that on my channel if you want to know more about it, but I do think as the time went on I got a lot more confident in drawing faces. I say that about my sketchbook being a sketchbook because I get a lot of messages from people wanting advice on how to make their sketchbooks look nice, which I totally get, it's not just about what you see on social media, although I do think that contributes to this idea of like a aesthetic sketchbook spread, but I also think that there's something really satisfying in making a spread that's nice to look at. The issue is, you know, when you end up not using your sketchbook enough because you're worried about how things will turn out. And this is meant to be a place to experiment and make mistakes. And if you've got nowhere that you feel that you can safely mess up, you'll probably find yourself not moving forward at all. So in doing these faces, for example, I really got to take a journey from really not liking the work I was doing to getting somewhere that I liked. But if I hadn't had the dodgy ones in between, I wouldn't have got to two of my favourites, these ones, um, and just more, more confidence in my work there. And that's why this book is a little bit all over the place, because as long as I was making art and making an effort, I was happy. And that's something that I want to carry on into all my future sketchbooks. More um, landscape studies here. These are done from a couple of photos. Um, these are from two different trips that I took and then I think I just found that one on Tumblr. These are more recent. You might have seen them in a vlog. I was gonna um, actually sell some landscape studies but I wasn't too keen on how these ones turned out so I thought they would uh, make do just being in my sketchbook. We're going almost right back to the beginning now. Um, this is one of the first things I did in here, just testing out a few different mediums. I was doing a little bit of um, lino cut printing there but it didn't really work out. I wasn't using the right paper and it's such a tedious process that I just kind of moved on. More of a recent page here and just some few scraps of paintings that I stuck in. I was taking another schoolism class but I didn't end up taking any notes on that so I thought I'd fill the space there. Just messing about with colour here. And a lot of these I might have videos on my channel for, so I'll have links to those down below. You can see there's a lot of more journaly stuff in here and then some sketches and things. This is my little baby boy, Thierry. And here I was planning these stickers to go with my houseplant um, postcard bundle. Um, I just wanted to do a sketch there of the layout of the stickers on the sheet. I did a study of this uh, radish from one of Jaw Cooper's books on page 23 of Viscera and I tried to translate that into one of my own paintings less successfully um, trying to carry that style over but over time I think I've gradually been able to stylize my work a bit better. Sometimes when you guys send me mail I keep the envelopes and stick them in and just use them for different things so this is just holding on to some relics from when we were moving, some of the estate agent stuff. Here's a lovely postcard from one of you guys, I've blocked out the address um, and this is just my PO box address. But yeah I really liked the outside of it and it's just a nice memory, something nice to flip back on. And here I do think I was getting more closer to the style that I was looking for in my paintings. I saw this magazine spread and thought the colours went really well with this painting that I'd done so I stuck that in there. really love this spread. I tried to recreate it in a video um, and obviously it just didn't turn out as well because when you're filming it's just not as easy to paint in the same way. I think I may have stuck this into another sketchbook. This is a misprint of um, a painting that I did of Sausalito and I've just put that next to a study from a Studio Ghibli book that I've got.
These are two paintings that I turned into prints for Patreon and I just wanted to stick the originals in here to give them somewhere safe to stay. And then over a week or so, I spent some time really getting into working on my paintings and my sketching, but I think my paintings came a long way. This is further into the process, so I was feeling a lot more confident at this point with my garage painting skills, but you'll see later on where I started. And sometimes I just make notes in here. Um, this is from another one of those schoolism classes. Um, but it's just a good thing to refer back to if I ever need it. This was one of my first real attempts at painting clouds and skies and it was really disheartening as an experience because I was so lost with it. So I spent some time then studying the skies in Studio Ghibli uh, backgrounds and um, I, I've still got a way to go, but it was a good way to break down some of the steps that go into clouds and sky scenes. I think I just left this blank so that it wouldn't smudge onto the other page. Now this is a page that I had so much fun with. I really loved this process and I still look at it and think it looks really cool. Um, but I did get a comment on the video that I posted of this that was along the lines of someone being disappointed in my work and where I'm going with my art and my videos. And sadly, now every time I look at this um, spread, that's what I think of. Which I guess is just one of the pitfalls of sharing your more kind of free and fun experimental stuff online, which you don't, you know, you don't have to do. I've been really lucky in being able to grow and learn online over these years. This one you'll know is more recent, and this is actually a print of an original painting that I sent to a patron. Um, I like to print off a copy for myself of any original paintings that I send off and keep them just so that I still have a little bit of them left. I think we're coming up to the first in that kind of painting exploration that I was talking about earlier. This, these were the first two I think that I did and I think you can see the um, progression in confidence, in style. Um, and it didn't take too long, it only took a few days to get back into the rhythm of painting with gouache again. Um, sometimes I just kind of map out different ideas for paintings. Um, this one did come to fruition, but I didn't end up liking it, so it was just tucked away somewhere. Um, another page of doodles and paintings. I've got to have a misty woodland road in there somewhere. It's one of my favorite things to paint. And if you're wondering how I get the crisp lines, because people always ask, um, it's just washi tape, just regular washi tape. And that, I believe, is it. So I'm really happy with this sketchbook. I'm really happy with all the stuff in it. And it's always really satisfying to have a nice bouncy full sketchbook by the time it's done. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me on the journey of this art for the past year and a half plus. I'll be back soon with another sketchbook and another video, but for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.